My name is Eric Sturbank, and I am from the support group, and we're going to walk through the process of doing a very old but very simple technique for appending custom headers to an export to as Excel process. So if you wanted to have custom headers for your Excel sheet that you're exporting from FileMaker, this is one way to do it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, the first thing we need is a custom function in order to uh, create the style sheet that we're going to use to do this. Uh, so to get that custom function, what I'm going to do is go into the file, and this will be on uh, our website, and you can download it, where I'm going to start from my old demo file and just copy that custom function over. So to do that, you know, you go up here to the file menu, go to manage, custom functions, click on the file, on the custom function you want, you hit copy, cancel out, close the file that you're copying from, go to the file you're copying to, go to manage, custom functions, and then just hit paste. And now that custom function exists in the system that you're trying to um, do the custom Excel headers in. Uh, so that's the first step. Now we just need to create the script. So I have absolutely no scripts in here, no tricks up my sleeve. Um, we're going to call this custom Excel header export. Um, the first thing we're going to do is put some uh, comments in here. So first thing we're going to do is create a variable for the file path where the file will be saved and make sure I'm spelling things correctly. Um, and so for the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set variable. I'm going to create a file path variable for the desktop. This is going to be where our final thing is saved to. So get desktop path. And then we're just going to call this contact list for now. You can put anything in you want in here for your whatever you are calling this. You do need to make sure you call it, you give it a um, the CSV uh, extension there um, so that Excel knows what it is. So that's the first step. Second step, we're going to create variables for the XLT column header file paths. So, oops, um, this will be XSLT. Um, this is going to be where we're going to put the style sheet that we're going to use at the end of this process. It's basically going to save it to um, the temporary folder for FileMaker. So that way, because we're only going to use it. Um, it's a very quick thing to uh, create and export. So we're going to run it every single time we export, we're going to create it. And then every time FileMaker closes, um, it will delete the temporary folder and this particular thing. Um, so we're going to put this in the temporary folder. So the first thing we're going to do is create the file name. File name. Oops, I get that wrong every single time. Um, and we're going to put this, we're going to call it XFT export style sheet dot XSL. Again, don't uh, forget to put that extension on the end. That's what we're going to call that. Then we're going to, so that's just a variable for the file name. Then we're going to call this the file path right um, and we're going to put this as get temporary oops path and there we go so that should be that oops um, you know we could leave that in there but it's actually easier to do this Um, and there we go. Hopefully I got everything spelled correctly. And one last thing. 
we're going to use. And the reason we're doing this is because when we use it, we need the file, the text file, uh, appended at the very beginning. And that looks good. Lovely. Now, that's actually probably the hardest bit of this whole thing right there. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable for how the header row should look like. What? And this you have to make sure you do correctly and you put it in the right order. Um, so, and it be the same order in the header in this text as it is in your export preferences. So we're going to set variable and we're going to call this one header and we're going to make this one simply first name, comma, last name, comma, company. Um, and that's basically it's going to separate these three values by commas in the header. That's all we have to do. Next thing we do is we convert this header that you just created. We're going to use that custom function in order to convert this header and uh, and use it in our style sheet. Convert this header to XML store in a field. Oop. So we set field. Uh, and we're going to, oh, we need a temporary field for this. So I'm going to go back into my modified database. I'm going to create a field called gtemp and I'm going to call it a global. Okay. Okay. Uh, set field temp to, and we're going to export export. Um, header. All right, now what's next? Now we're going to export that field as a file to the temporary folder. Temporary field file to the temporary folder. And so export field contents. We're going to create directories off. We click on here, specify target field. It's going to be the one we just created. Output file, we're going to call it X, X, L, S, L, T, file path, right. So this is where we are sending it to. Okay. So now that we have just created the style sheet, we, these last three, that was what we want the header to be. Here's, we're converting it to XML, and now we just uh, sent that XML to the temporary folder. What's next? Now we bring it all together. Export records you want in the Excel file using the header file you created. One last thing to do we export our records. Um, we're we'll just turn the dialog off. Um, and we're going to specify the output file. We're going to call this file path, and we're going to go down to XML here and hit OK. Once we hit OK, it gives us the second option, XML result. We're going to use this XSL style sheet, um, and we're going to use a file and then this one will be X, X, S, L, T. Let me just get file path use. That's the one we want to use there. Um, and let's go here and hit OK. And then the other thing we want to do is specify export order. What did we say? First name, last name, company. And you can see here, oh, First name, last name, company. That is in the same order as we are right there. All done, hit OK. We have those both set up. That's going to the file path. Um, and this one has the correct order. That's it. So now I'm going to save that. 
close the script space. Here I am in my demo file. I've got a 999 records with a bunch of dummy data in it. So let's see what happens if I export this. Boom, we have our contact list.csv has been exported to the desktop. And if I open it up in Excel, give it a moment, we have our custom headers, first name, last name, and company. And that's it. Uh, thank you for your time. Good luck.